Have you ever felt like food and virtually everything to do with eating is far more confusing, far more stressful and difficult than it should be? Like in your gut, you knew there had to be a better way, but you just didn't know what the next best steps were to change things? Me too. So what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve with food right now? What is your destination? Is it better health, stable weight? And I'm not just talking about the physical aspects of things. I'm talking about freeing up more time, more energy, more money, more joy. So what's your more? What do you want life with food to look like? The world around us looks nothing like the one that we evolved to thrive in. So our struggle, our weight issues, our confusion is a completely normal and natural reaction to an abnormal environment. In my 45 years on this planet, I have had my share of learning experiences. I've had hard times that have forced me to learn and evolve. And I'm gonna share this with you. In this video is one lesson from my new course. This course that I hope you'll come join me in is practical, it's results driven, and it is fun. And you might be thinking that you've tried it all and things are never gonna change for you. I've been there, I get it. But I promise you, there is a better way. Years of struggle with food followed by years of success is what gives me 100% confidence that this stuff works. In this first cohort of this course, you will get a series of short, bite-sized, easily digestible videos, <laughs> so many food puns in there, that you can do at your own pace. And by the time you finish this course, you will have all the tools and strategies and insights that you need to manage every aspect of food. Everything from getting your kitchen ready, to planning your meals for the week, to the best ways to do a grocery list and do your grocery shopping to save time. Tools to manage your budget and save money with food. You will know how to ignore the toxic diet culture that is out there and instead figure out what foods are specifically best for you. And most importantly, actually enjoy food. This course is completely different than anything else that's out there. I've checked. This course is designed specifically for people like you, people who prioritize their health and also need to save time, save energy, save money, have tools for staying on track. And as a free bonus with the course, you'll get access to our exclusive Slack group. So you can get support from other people in our community who are on similar journeys as you. You'll also get some bonus live webinar sessions with nutrition and health experts, people like Dr. Scott Resnick and Anna Marsh and Lauren Windus. And it's all risk-free. This course can profoundly change your life. If you do the work, you can get tremendous value. But if you complete the course and you find it isn't for you, you just email me and you'll get a full refund. Your life matters. Your happiness matters. Your health matters. Now is the time. I really hope I get the chance to work with you in this course. And now your free sample, a lesson from this course that will help save you time and energy when it comes to planning your meals. All right, a massive game changer, something that can make meal planning a lot easier is to make your meals a uniform of sorts. So what this means, and this isn't a rule, this is just a plan for the week and it's not set in stone and you have all the freedom in the world to not follow it if you don't want to. It's just giving yourself kind of a backbone of something for when you're doing your meal planning. So it's not just so out there every time you sit down for the day or for the week. What am I gonna have for breakfast? What am I gonna have for lunch? So the concept of making your meals a uniform is to set out a structure for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And what this can look like is, let's say breakfast for me, I really enjoy smoothie bowls say. So breakfast will be a smoothie bowl. It doesn't have to be the same smoothie bowl all of the time. And you can put together a list of different ingredients and toppings that you like, but at least when you sit down to do meal planning, you look at your meal uniform for breakfast and that is a smoothie bowl. And then lunch, for example, might be a soup or a stew. So then you know for the week, you're just gonna have to plan, buy, or make some kind of soup or stew. And then maybe dinner is one meat, one vegetable, one grain. For example, whatever you eat, you adapt accordingly, make it fit according to what works for, for your body and your life. I call this a food uniform because it's sort of like how when we think about our clothes, when you get up every day, if you have a uniform to wear, you're really, reduces the amount of energy it takes to figure out what you're gonna wear every day or every week. You know that you have a certain uniform and that's what you put on. I even recommend this for people 
just in general, there are lots of famous people like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg and Barack Obama who wore generally the same thing every day, whether it be a, you know, a black um, you know, mock neck shirt or a you know, gray suit, just something that they don't have to waste their precious energy on and they can save energy for things that matter to them more. And this can be just, even if you're at home all the time, if you're always at home, whether because you work from home or maybe you're facing health challenges and you're currently at home a lot of the time, maybe your home uniform is a black t-shirt and gray sweatpants. And in your closet, you just have a stack of what did I say? Black, black t-shirt and gray sweatpants, just a stack of each. And then you could just grab one of each and then you just don't have to think about what you're gonna wear. So when you plan your uniform for the week, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like when we look at our dinner example, if it's one meat, one vegetable, one grain, when you do your grocery shopping or you order your grocery delivery, whatever it is that you do, get a variety of vegetables. So each day you can choose, like, what do I feel like today? Maybe you have a couple of different meats to choose from. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same every day. The idea is just having a structure to follow so you don't have to think so hard about what you're gonna eat for each meal. And, you know, we talked about this before, but you know, that, that mental fatigue, that decision fatigue is a real thing. Our prefrontal cortex requires a significant amount of energy to do all these mental processes throughout the day. Now there was an example or a study cited in How Not to Diet where they took uh, two groups of people and they wanted to see how the mental tasks they assigned them impacted the food choices that they made. So this decision fatigue, you know, it really has a ripple effect on our whole overall diet when we look at what some of these studies um, suggest. So the two groups, one group was tasked with memorizing two numbers. So pretty simple. And then the other group was tasked with memorizing seven numbers. So a little bit more difficult. And both groups put in separate rooms were each given two options for snacks. Both groups, same options, fruit, uh, fruit salad or um, cake. And then they look at just what these groups decided to eat. They weren't told that the food was part of the study. They weren't told anything. All they were told was to memorize these numbers. And then the group that only had to memorize two numbers, more often than not, chose the fruit salad as their snack. And then the group that had to memorize seven numbers, more often than not, chose the cake. So it shows that as our mental faculties get burned out, used up, our, our energy goes away, uh, you know, the energy we have to devote to other decisions, like, you know, what do I really want? What's really going to make me feel better in this moment and nourish my body and make me feel good? Is it fruit or is it cake? <laughs> when we've got no energy left to devote to that decision, it's just normal and understandable that we're going to go for the cake. So you can set yourself up for success overall with this system. One, by just simplifying your meal planning and having a structure for each week to follow so it's easier when you're making your grocery list and doing your grocery shopping um, and just eating your meals every day. But then also this is freeing up energy to help you make decisions that are more in line with what your body is asking for in terms of nourishment and energy. And really, I encourage you in all areas of your life, as much as possible, that you can automate things and make a uniform or just reduce the decision um, and just save that mental, mental energy. It's really going to make things easier for you. Thank you for your gift of your time and attention. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you'll come join me in the course.